just an opera. This is your life. Go on. The Cabaletta? Yes, the Cabaletta! Why do I keep stopping? This is where everything changes. The dramatic situation, the tempo. An aria without his Cabaletta is like sex without an orgasm. I'm sorry to speak so crudely. But sometimes we artists must sink into the gutter and before we rise into the stars, huh? Am I right? Now, what's going to happen next? Hurry up. I'm running out of steam. Um, uh, someone comes in and... Not someone. No one is someone. A servant. Now you're talking. Oh, and he tells her that the king, Duncan, will be at their castle that very evening. Is Macbeth with him? Yes. And how does that make her feel? <laughs> Don't look at me for answers, Sharon. Tell me. Show me. Feet, feet. Really happy. Love happy. Christmas morning happy. Murder happy. Aha! Uh -huh. And what's she going to do about it? She's going to sing a cabaletta. She's going to kill the king. Do you know what that means? Yes. It's terrible. <laughs> Not to her. Sharon, do you believe that women can have balls? Some women. Yes, I do. Well, <laughs> Verdi is daring you to show us yours. Will you do it, Sharon? Yes. Andiamo! This music is ridiculous. Ignore it. I'll do the survey with you. under the wooden floorboards of La Scala. I was standing with the deer, 
Electra Clytemnestra had stood. There was a direct line through me to the composer, to Euripides, to Medea herself. These people really existed. Medea, Lady Macbeth. Why don't you believe that? Is this all just make-believe to you? I've never really thought about it. That's because you're young. You will, in time, know how much suffering there is in store for all of us.